In this video, we're gonna talk about how to tune a Tesla Model 3 long range. Let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? Now this video is all about finding out if Rusty, the Tesla Model 3 that we're in now, has a specific type of motor. Because you can only get the ghost mode upgrade to tune a Tesla long range to make it as similar to a performance um, if you have this particular type of motor. Because some long ranges, some of the early ones, have a performance rear motor. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get Rusty in the air and check to see if it's got that particular motor number. Tune electric car. Yes, that's right, because you can do it. And there's a couple of ways you can do it. Some, one of the ways is a lot safer than the other couple of ways. If you're like me, and it's all about power. power! And all about performance. <laughs> the thrill of the acceleration and all the rest of it, and making something quicker than it was standard. That's what it's all about for me. I'm sure it is you if you're watching this. So. There's a couple of things that you can do. First of all, there's the standard Tesla acceleration boost. And the Tesla acceleration boost, it's 1500 quid. Go and have a look at this video. This is where I took uh, te my Tesla Model 3 long range, but I took it to Santapod and I did a quarter mile run with it being standard and with the Tesla acceleration boost. <laughs> Now I'm in a little bit of a quandary with regards to what I do. Now I do want to keep within the warranty period because I've still got, um, God, so I've done 86,000 miles and it's 120,000 miles once the warranty runs out. I think it's eight years, I think so. And this is what, four years old. Um, so I've got, I've got a decent amount of time and you know, it'd be nice to have that security of the warranty. However, Something that I do really want to do is not only make it quicker, I really want to be able to drift my vehicle. Back in the day, you know, prior to having the TVR Griffith that I've recently sold to help fund my electric TVR conversion. If you've not heard about that, check out my other uh, playlist. It's been going on a while now. It's nearly done. Tesla powered. Awesome. Is the fact that I used to do drifting, I used to have Skylines, 200 SXs, used to go locally to Santa Pod, drift what you brung, you know, drift it up, smoke those tyres, go mental, loved it. I really want to do some drifting in the Tesla. Um, I did borrow a performance Tesla Model 3, and you can drift a performance because you put it in trap mode, take off the traction control, obviously, and then you can change the bias of power from more to the rear. So I'm gutted I haven't got that. However, there is a solution, and the solution is a company called Ingenext. Now, Ingenext, they're a company in Canada, I think, off the top of my head, because um, a lot of their videos are in French, Canadian French. There's a couple of options. Now, the two options is Boost 50. Now, there aren't any figures on it for the Tesla Acceleration Boost, but the Tesla Acceleration Boost gives you circa 100 brake horsepower and changes 0 to 60 by about half a second. And as you'll see in my quarter mile video, quarter mile by about half a second. Now the boost mode, that will give you an extra 50 brake horsepower, and it also gives you a few other features. Things like the drift mode, which is something that I really would love, um, and stuff like it, it uh, adds on extras that might not have been turned on before, stuff like heated steering wheel, heated rear seats if it's a short range, because you can do an upgrade on the short range as well. But this video is gonna focus on the long range. So, there is that option of engine X and boost mode. It works out to be about five, 600 quid. Uh, it's in dollars and it connects underneath the glove box. Now, I'm not gonna be talking about that because although that's nice, there's something that's better. There's something that's faster and it makes a Tesla Model 3 long range quicker than a performance Tesla Model 3. I think that's more to do with when I've seen them race together. I think that's more to do with the size of wheels maybe sometimes because that makes a huge difference as well and the weight. So, I mean, in this Tesla Model 3, if I wanted to take a couple of, you know, point one of a second off the time, I'll take out the rear seats. I'll take out the rear bench seat. I'll take out the passenger seat. 
and there's a few other things you know just to get weight out but this is my everyday car you know i want to enjoy the comfort levels so i'm not going to do that but the other upgrade that you can get from nginx is something called ghost mode is $19.95, which works out to be about £1,650. It is less expensive in the Black Friday sale, which is 24 days from the day that I've videoed this. And that's the same price, five, 600 quid in the sale for the Boost 50, because it's normally a bit more uh, on that. But you've got the two different versions. Um, it is a little bit more complicated to fit, but you do get a load of features. You still get, you know, uh, the lap mode, live data, being able to heat your battery pack, the drift mode. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, it's another thing to make your Tesla Model 3 long range quicker. Now, does Rusty have the 980 motor? Let's find out now. Like I said, to find out if I've got the performance motor, I need to find the code which is on the motor which is right in there. So I've got these to put it in the air to see if I can see it. If not, I'll get the jack out. Let's get onto it. Say when. When. Perfect. A bit wet today. Come on, come and have a look. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can see the number of the motor and it should be it's 980 or 990 at the end of the num serial number on the motor and I think the 990 is the one that we're looking for but I'll double check that in a second but let's find out the number anyway let's go come on come in come in come on Grace come in thank you no I can't see a blooming thing right because I can't see the motor yet what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack it up because that way I should be able to see the motor. But first of all, we need the jacking rubbers. So if you ever put in a Tesla in the air, unless you've got a decent pad on your jack, you'll need some of these. So they go in a hole underneath the car to allow you to jack it up safely without damaging the underneath or the battery. Right, well it's under here somewhere. Right, the hole's under here, just there. Clip. There we go. Can we see now? Those who watch the channel regularly will see that Bit of a chunk missing out here. Um, Mrs. Charged uh, after four days of putting these on, uh, uh, damaged it. But great news, EV Quip, which is where I got them from, they're sending me a replacement one. Um, so yeah, looking forward to putting that on, so it don't look so broken. Is that in the air now? It is in the air. Sweet. Okay. Look what I just spotted. I just spotted that. I'm missing a bit of this cardboard stuff. Is that broken? Hmm, right. They do metal panels in America. I've seen them, which I was thinking might well, could be a good idea to replace this cardboard rubbish with. Well, it's a perfect excuse to do it then, isn't it? I think I found it. Is it that one there? I need to zoom in, I think. It looks like it's a 990. Eh, eh. No. Uh, so, there we have it. I've got the uh, normal motor. I haven't got the performance motor because 980 is the performance motor. 990, which is this one, is the uh, standard motor. So, uh, it looks like I've only got two options, which is, well, for now, until there's any other uh, things that come out because you know we're talking right at, on the edge of technology and tuning for electric motors there's loads going on at the moment so there could be something in the future anyone that's working on something get in touch uh, chargeheads at gmail.com uh, also Polestar's 
uh, long range pole stars, you can do exactly the same thing. Um, I only heard this recently, it gives it another 60 brake horsepower. Um, I don't know the cost either, so maybe I'll do another video on that next time. But anyone that's done one, give me a shout. Uh, it'd be great to hear from you again chargeheads at gmail.com uh, or check out uh, you know send me a message through facebook because chargeheads uk is on facebook instagram twitter linkedin x it's not twitter anymore sorry elon um so yeah i've only got the options really now of either doing acceleration boost which is the tesla one um or the boost 50 from engine x which gives me the drift mode i suppose i could always drift the tvr the electric tvr so uh that would keep Rusty out of trouble a bit more, but oh, it'd be nice to see what it's like to drift. Although I might have had a little play in a performance once. Um, but yeah, keep watching. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Oh, mustn't forget, there is an EV meet at Chargeheads, uh, well, Chargeheads EV meet at Caffeine and Machine, uh, 11th of November, 10 o'clock till 1 o'clock. Make your way down. You do need to buy tickets before you arrive. It's £10 a car. Um, I'm going to be there. I think we've got about 10, 11 uh, plus uh, cars turning up and about 112 people interested on Facebook. So get yourself down there. Make sure you confirm that you're coming on Facebook because it just gives confidence with uh, uh, people coming. It'd be great to chat to people about these sort of things and, you know, track days for EVs and efficiencies and all the manner of EV stuff that you can talk about because I think it tends to be a bit more wide range than your normal kind of just petrol cars and stuff. But again, Thanks for watching. See you next time.